My name's Brian Ashley. I'm with the Million Climate Jobs campaign in South Africa. And what is that? It's a campaign for our government to create a million climate jobs through transitioning to a low carbon economy. When we do that, there are many things that have to be done. We have to build a public transport system. We have to build thousands and thousands of wind farms. We have to build thousands and thousands of solar energy plants, etc. That means lots of jobs. So if we want to end climate change, if we want to put a halt to it, we've got to create a million climate jobs in the transition to a low carbon economy. In that way, we win the support of ordinary people who for many of them the issue of climate change is quite far and obscure. But when we link it to the question of jobs, then they understand that uh, climate change is not just a threat, it's an opportunity if we do the right thing. Won't it be expensive to transform the economy in that way? Not at all, because when we d when we build, when we manufacture, when we do things, we create a, a dynamic economy, not a casino economy, is, which is what we're busy dealing with at this moment in time. So the very act of employing people actually stimulates downstream industry, creating more and more jobs. So it's a dynamic process. And where does the, the million, the number one million come from? Of course there's a symbolic aspect to it, but it comes out of research that we've done where we've looked at how do we bring our emissions down in a way that creates jobs. That's what a climate job is. A climate job is those jobs that reduce our emissions and build the resilience of our communities to withstand the impact of climate change. Explain a little bit about the role of renewable energy in all this. Well, renewable energy is absolutely central in this country, in South Africa we have a highly energy intensive economy when we take uh, if we uh, look at the ratio between emissions and uh, GDP gross domestic product South Africa is the biggest polluter in the world bigger than China bigger than the USA of course when we just look at the issue in terms of uh, total tonnage of emissions currently we are the 12th biggest emitter uh, in the world now uh, this has been because the coal industry and the energy industry, mining and coal, have been central in the South African economy. So we need a struggle to fight for renewable energy. At this moment in time, our government completely un uh, dismisses the, its responsibility in investing and leading the process to build a renewable energy in, in this country. It prefers to go for nuclear energy, which is costly uh, and is extremely dangerous. We don't want Fukushima in South Africa. So renewable energy, wind energy, solar energy, central to what a future South Africa should look like. Where does the campaign stand now? Well, at this moment in time, we're about to uh, launch the research that 32 papers uh, brought together by trade unions, social movements, environmental organizations have put together. So tomorrow we have our international conference with our friends from other parts of the world where we're building a network of climate job campaigns. And uh, on, on Tuesday, we're launching the research we've done and the campaign itself. Have you learned from other experiences around the world? Absolutely. We've learned from particularly the uh, British campaign, but many things that people have done in other parts of the country, in the south, where uh, already major advances have been made to uh, shift away from uh, dirty energy. And do you feel like South Africa can be a leader in Africa on this issue? Absolutely. South Africa has the capacity, it has the traditions, it has the authority if it does the right thing. It's extremely important for us to do undertake this. We shouldn't hide behind the fact that Africa is a, a low polluter in terms of CO2s and greenhouse gases. South Africa is very high and we need to make a brave step to do it now before we lag in behind others. But if we do it now and we show leadership 
leadership, then we offer, we act as a model for the rest of the world. How are the decisions being made inside COP17 impacting your effort to get a million climate jobs in South Africa? Well, it's precisely why we've launched the Million Climate Jobs campaign, because the multilateral talks are in absolute crisis since COP15, since Copenhagen, since the betrayal there and the treachery of Cancun. And what we see happening here in Durban now is, a, is an intensifying of that process, which wants to rely on the market, the very thing that has brought us to this crisis, to solve the crisis. And so we're not... Waiting on that to deliver, we're putting pressure on our own government, on our own state, to uh, uh, shift away from dirty energy. Thank you very much. Thanks. Yes.